In talking about God's omnipotence, we want to define what it means to be omnipotent in terms of two things. First, the degree of God's power, and then secondly, the range of his power. We can think of these as vertical and horizontal dimensions of his omnipotence. In terms of the degree of God's power, what we want to say is that there is no state of affairs that God is unable to actualize because of a lack of power on his part. In terms of the range of his power, I think what we want to say is that there are only purely logical limits on the range of the state of affairs that God can actualize. So when we think of the state of affairs of a rock too heavy for an omnipotent being to lift, I think you can immediately see that's an incoherent state of affairs. That is an illogical state of affairs that cannot exist. It cannot be actualized. It's just an inconsistent combination of words. And so God can actualize uh, states of affairs so long as they are not logically impossible uh, states of affairs for someone in that situation to actualize. I don't think that to say God can't do the logically impossible is to limit God because the logically impossible isn't a thing. It's just a contradictory combination of words. And so it is not a thing that God is unable to do. You're, you're in a sense, talking nonsense here when you talk about a logically impossible state of affairs. Think of what it would mean if God could bring about logical impossibilities. It would mean that he could bring it about that he both exists and that he has never existed. And that's just simply absurd. There, that's not to limit God to say he can't bring it about that he both exists and does not exist.